Hi everyone, I'd like to talk to you about congenital Lyme disease. This is a question that I get asked about all the time, especially when I see pediatric patients and even some adults. Congenital Lyme disease does exist and that means where the mother can pass on the infection to the baby while the baby is in utero. However, it's not that common, so it doesn't happen very frequently, although it does occur. And some of the hallmarks that one would see when uh, a child is born with congenital Lyme disease, which um, would be at birth, uh, the child would be uh, what's called low tone, which means it, uh, the baby is very kind of floppy and doesn't have very good muscle tone. Uh, the child would be irritable, would have poor feeding, as well as behavioral issues such as impulsivity. And these are the type of kids um, that you see these behavior uh, which occurs uh, pretty much at birth uh, and does not develop later on in life. If this behavior developed later on in life, meaning a child was fine initially, and then developed these symptoms, most likely the child was exposed postpartum, uh, meaning after the baby was born. Another big thing that people uh, talk about when you have congenital Lyme disease is very aggressive crying where the baby is inconsolable and has a very disturbing cry. Uh, again, that happens almost instantaneously after birth or uh, very shortly after. So these are the kind of things one is to look out for. And of course, uh, in order to treat these kids, one would treat the Lyme infection uh, and uh, see some improvement. Some of the things with congenital Lyme may remain uh, and will not get better completely. Uh, however, in most cases, children do get better at least somewhat, if not fully recovered. I hope this helps. and. Uh, Please stay tuned for uh, more useful information on uh, future posts. Okay, bye-bye.